the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 217, Jeremiah 46-48 God's Management of the World God was the one who declared judgment on the nations as the Creator, and He is the one who is above all our thoughts and experiences. First point, God declared judgment on Egypt and their surrounding ten countries. In Jeremiah chapter 46, God declared judgment on Egypt. In chapter 47, He declared judgment on Philistine. In chapter 48 on Moab, in chapter 49 on Ammon, Moab and Aram and a few others. And in chapters 50 and 51, God declared judgment on Babylon. First, God explained that Egypt would fall in Babylon's hands during battle. In 605 BC, all the territories of Egypt became Babylon's territory. Jeremiah proclaimed that Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon would conquer Egypt. The Egyptians would be taken to Babylon. This warning was also an extended warning to South Judah. When circumstances became serious, Zedekiah tried to rely on Egypt rather than God. To them, God explained that Egypt would also be possessed by Babylon. God told Jeremiah of Egypt's fall as well as their restoration. Egypt came to be restored during the fall of the Persian Empire. This was all God's management of the world. Second point, God explained that after the 70 years in Babylon, South Judah would be restored again. To the people of South Judah who were taken as captives to Babylon, God told them to accept their punishment and have hope for their restoration. God retold them that after the 70 years, they would be able to stand as holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. Third point, Jeremiah's prophecy regarding the surrounding countries was God's management of the world. God declared judgment on Philistine after Egypt. As God's blood once wiped the earth, God explained that Babylon would do the same to its surrounding countries. Israel and Philistine had an ongoing bad relationship since the very early days. Philistine, who had a stronger army than Israel, constantly attacked them. Thus, Israel and Philistine always had a bad relationship. To Philistine, God declared that Babylon would swallow them up with a mighty force. They would not be able to resist or do anything about it. Fourth point. God declared the judgment on Moab, who always had an anxious relationship with South Judah. After Egypt and Philistine, God declared the judgment on Moab. Moab was related to Israel through Abraham and Lot. Thus, after Exodus, God had protected Moab after the conquering of Canaan. However, Moab did not accept Israel's protection, but rather attacked. They also did evil. Judgment on Moab continued on from Isaiah chapters 15 to 16 through to Jeremiah chapter 48. They had forgotten God's grace of saving Lot and his family during the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and how God enabled them to live protected. They forgot about God and worshipped idols. Now their peace had come to an end. Even in the early days, God had saved Lot and hoped that he would live a good life. God had hoped that the relationship between Abraham and Lot, between the Israelites and Moab, between Boaz and Ruth, would continue. But Moab went in the opposite way of God's hope. Now they could not escape God's judgment. Moab had been living a relatively peaceful life until then.
but God warned that this will be their final hours of peace. Just as wine pitchers are emptied and jars are smashed. Fifth point, the reason for God's punishment on Moab was due to their idol worship and arrogance. The first reason for God's judgment on Moab was because of their idol worship. As North Israel had to fall because of the golden covers at Dan and Bethel, Moab also had to fall for their idol worship of Chemosh. The Chemosh idol was like Ammon's Molech. The people of Moab were referred to as the people of Chemosh. Moab worshipped Chemosh extremely sincerely. The second reason for God's judgment was because of their arrogance. Moab was located in a good place where they could escape from foreign attack. They were arrogant because of this, and so God warned them through Isaiah, Jeremiah, Amos, and also Zephaniah. God declared judgment on Moab through Jeremiah. Moab will be destroyed as a nation because she defied the Lord. Terror and pit and snare await you, you people of Moab, declares the Lord. Whoever flees from the terror will fall into a pit. Whoever climbs out of the pit will be caught in a snare. For I will bring on Moab the ear of her punishment, declares the Lord. As God declared, after Babylon destroyed them, Moab disappeared from the face of the earth. Moab could only hope for restoration when the Messiah would come. Yet I will restore the fortunes of Moab in days to come, declares the Lord. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.